Hello friends and welcome to today's restorative class. Let's get started by gathering about ourselves everything that might be helpful to help us have a truly restful experience in our practice today. I highly recommend a bolster if you have one, pillows, whether they're bed pillows or throw pillows, a blanket, yoga blocks if you have them, and a strap or something that can function as a strap, like a belt or a wide ribbon. And once you have these gathered about yourself, I invite you to join me on the mat in a simple seated posture. And let's begin by coming to stillness, rooting our sits bones firmly on the mat, making sure that we are sitting up straight, elongated. We can have our hands resting on our lap or in prayer posture if you prefer it that way. And let's breathe, allowing yourself to become present to this time and space. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 through 16. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Friends, have you ever stopped to think and consider the wonder it is that we are invited to approach God's throne? Just imagine the kings and the pharaohs of the ancient world not just anyone could approach the throne, and especially not any time they wanted to. For many people, I imagine that the rare time they were to approach the throne was probably a time of great fear, and it included a big question mark as to how they would be received and what the consequences might be. But here in scripture, because our God is a different kind of king, and as the king of the entire universe, which is even more powerful, we are invited to approach the throne with confidence. It's the throne of grace. Friends, this isn't a throne of anger or judgment, and this is certainly not a throne of shame or guilt. God's throne is a throne of grace. And it's not because we've earned entry. It's because God is our loving parent who desires us to be close, to come close. It's because of Jesus and what God did for us without us needing to earn anything. What do you need to bring confidently to the throne of grace today? After your next exhale, let's get our bolster or a stack of pillows and bring them behind our torso. We'll be laying back on these with our head coming off the side. So go ahead and adjust them as best you can. And when you're ready, 
gently lay back onto the pillows or the bolster. Ideally, the pillows or bolster will come to the tops of your shoulder and your head will be able to gently rest on the floor off the top. I'll invite you if it feels restful and you are able to extend your arms to the sides, really allowing your heart to open. Your legs can be lengthened in front of you. And remember, in a restorative class, this is about resting in various postures. And so if this is not restful or comfortable, go ahead and take a moment, adjust the props, add or subtract from them until you come to a place where you can truly rest for the next few moments. Friends, we are invited to give grace and we are also invited to remember that we are first given grace. A lot of times we are unable to give something that we have not yet received or owned. And here's the truth. We make mistakes. We need to be able to repent. Yes, we need to be able to seek forgiveness. But friends, we also need to forgive ourselves. It's okay to go a little easier on ourselves. This is hard, but it begins with opening to and receiving God's grace. His grace is free and it's offered to us no matter what. Grace, it's divine favor not because you've earned it, but because God desires to extend it to you.
gently rolling onto your side and coming up to a seated posture. We're going to now sit down, mer mermaid style, so to speak, with our hip against the bottom of our bolster or our pillows. And as we are here with our knees in front of us, our hip against those pillows, I'll invite you to gently twist your torso and lay it on top of the pillows or bolster. Ideally, we'll be able to take our head and turn it over the opposite shoulder so it's looking away from the direction our knees are pointing. Now, if this does not feel comfortable to you, you have options. You can add another pillow or two so that you're not reclined over quite as far. You could also adjust the position of your knees, perhaps moving your knees further apart from one another. Once you have found a position where you can settle in and rest, I'd like to share these words with you from Romans chapter 3, verses 23 through 24. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Friends, it is true that sometimes we feel that we are messing up uniquely, but the truth is we are not unique in making mistakes. We all do, and scripture itself is evidence that every lover of God has fallen short, has made mistakes. The good news is that our mistakes are never big enough to separate us from God's love. We don't have to earn God's favor. It's not like a sticker chart where we're racking up merit points. We don't need to convince God to forgive us. And we absolutely do not need to trick God into thinking that we are great or put together. Grace is something we are just gifted with. And this means that we need to allow this grace to extend into all of our lives sometimes. We make mistakes. We say the wrong thing. We miss the moment and we mess up. And we are invited to offer ourselves grace in these moments.
gently coming up. Let's now switch sides. So bring your opposite hip to come next to the pile of pillows or your bolster. And then gently twist your torso and lay it down to come to rest on top. Depending on your body, you may want an extra pillow on this side. Maybe you want to take a pillow away. Pay attention to what is right for you. Adjust your knees. And if turning your head to look away from your knees is just too far, that's fine. Allow your gaze to go the same direction as your knees today. And then when you're there, I'll invite you to settle in and rest. And consider what parts of your life it's been hard for you to believe God's grace could extend to. I'd like to personally invite you today to accept God's grace even in these things where you perceive failure and falling short.
gently coming up. I'll invite you to face your pillows or your bolster and let's come to forward fold on them straight on for child's pose. Again, you may wish to add or remove props right now to make this a truly restful, restorative experience for yourself. Feel free to do what is right for you. But when all is said and done, we want to be folded forward, our torso coming between our knees, arms extended out overhead, out to the side, or even back alongside our body. Resting. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the grace that you give us. Thank you for sharing it so freely. I don't think we can ever comprehend just how great and vast your love is for us. But Lord, open our eyes to see glimpses of it, to accept the truth of it, and then to go on and share that with others. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. Grace and peace. Hey friends, thanks for joining us today as we connected with God through movement and prayer. Remember, making daily time with God a priority in your life is one of the best ways to grow in your faith. Now, if you enjoyed this class, we'd like to offer you access to our free video, Flowing with the Holy Spirit. Now, this is a part of our Getting in Sync with the Holy Spirit program as a part of our Ruas Base memberships. It's a flow that will connect your movement with your breath as you stretch your mind, body, and spirit. So if you want access to the video, just click on the link below, drop in your name and your email, and we'll send it right away to you. And please feel free to leave a comment with other classes and practices that you'd like to see. And please like it and share it if you enjoyed it and think that someone else could be encouraged or helped by the video. And of course, subscribe so that you can be notified and practice with us with all the new videos that we're adding all the time that help you make space for God in your life. So remember to click on the link below and we'll see you in the next class. Grace and peace.